Philippines is increasing force to intercept China Coast Guard ships at South China Sea The Philippines accused Beijing on Friday of destabilizing peace in a South China Sea and moved to bolster the presence of its forces in the region amid rising tensions. China claims the strategic and resource-rich South China Sea almost in its entirety and its military activity in the disputed maritime territory has been increasing encroaching on the Philippine part of the waters the West Philippine Sea. Earlier this week Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. summoned Beijing's ambassador to Manila after a Chinese vessel used a military-grade laser to block a Coast Guard ship in the area. It came days after the Philippines granted the U.S. expanded access to its military bases providing American forces with a strategic footing as tensions grew not only over the disputed South China Sea but also self-rule Taiwan for in the Philippines. Department of Foreign Affairs called on Beijing to restrain its activity which it said was damaging and dangerous. It is also destabilizing in terms of stability and peace in the region. The department spokesperson Teresita Dasa said in a media briefing the Philippine Coast Guard has beefed up its forces in the South China Sea in a move it announced on on Friday followed the directive of President Ferdinand Bonbon Marcos Jr. to strengthen and increase the Philippine Coast Guard's presence and operations in the region foreign. China's envoy to Manila said during a press conference on Friday that there was a lack of communication I think both sides should exercise restraint and refrain from taking any unilateral and provocative actions you know by the end of the day that water is a disputed area we have a different account of what happened and also a different understanding he said. Tensions have been on the rise despite Marcos's state visit to Beijing last month during which he agreed with his Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping to establish an intergovernment hotline on maritime issues. We activated communication between two Coast Guards and we are also exploring some new mechanisms Juan said with the many instances that have happened we do believe that we need to resolve these through friendly consultations not to have the issue hyped up and be escalated to such a situation. In a recent move to assert its sovereignty in the disputed South China Sea the Philippines has intercepted Chinese Coast Guard ships that entered its territorial waters the Philippine government accused the Chinese vessels of encroaching on its maritime borders and violating international law. The Philippine Coast Guard deployed several vessels to intercept the Chinese ships which were reportedly spotted near Scarborough Shoal a disputed area claimed by both countries the Chinese vessels were warned to leave Philippine waters but they ignored the warning and continued approaching the shoal. In response the Philippine Coast Guard fired warning shots and deployed water cannons to force the Chinese vessels to treat the incident marks the latest escalation and tensions between the two countries over the South China Sea dispute. The Philippines has recently increased its military presence in the region to protect its interests and assert its sovereignty. It has also sought support from other countries such as the United States to help bolster its military capabilities in the region. China for its part has dismissed the Philippines' claims and is accused it of stirring up trouble in the region. It has continued to assert its territorial claims in the South China Sea and has built military facilities on some of the islands and reefs in the area. The United States has supported the Philippines in a dispute and has conducted several freedom of navigation operations in the region to challenge China's claims however it remains unclear how the dispute will be resolved as both countries have a stake in the region's natural resources and are unwilling to back down the incident as likely to escalate tensions between the Philippines and China further and may lead to further confrontations in the South China Sea. The international community has called for a peaceful resolution to the dispute but it remains to be seen whether both countries will be willing to engage in dialogue to resolve their differences the South China Sea dispute involves several countries including the Philippines and China both countries claim sovereignty over some of the islands and reefs in the region which are believed to be rich in natural resources